Hello, guys. Happy Wednesday, guys. Let's just worship for a few minutes. Oh, today's been busy, guys. And I was driving almost to the house, and God said, go park at the park. He said, just worship me with the people. So I'm like, hallelujah, Jesus. I've been on um, on the road. Today's been so busy, y'all. But um, I've been on the road. I'm heading back now to the house. And I just want to pray before we get into Bible study. We're going to read a few chapters today. What I was going to do is just get in the house and lay down, take a shower, get some rest, and come on in a few hours. But God is saying, you know, come on now. So, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God is with you, you know, in the midst of your situation. I want you to be encouraged and know that God has you. You're going to make it through this. You're going to make it through this. I want you to be encouraged. And know that God is with you. God sees every air of your life, every aspect, every situation. Your God is with you. He is mighty to deliver. He is mighty to save. He will not fail thee. That's a word for someone. God will not fail you. Situations and circumstances may fail you. Your own flesh may fail you. People may fail you. But God is not going to fail you. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for touching souls today. Thank you for touching minds and hearts. Thank you for touching emotions, God. God, thank you for touching living situations. Thank you, God, for touching spirit and things, people's spirit and things in the realm of the spirit. Thank you for touching families. Thank you for touching atmospheres. Thank you for touching finances. Thank you for touching dreams and businesses and on the job and goals and marriages and relationships. Thank you for touching people personally, Lord. I thank you, God, for doing it for your people on today, God. Thank you that this is a new season for them. Thank you for releasing scrum. Thank you for releasing blessings and anointing. Thank you, God, for releasing uh, refreshing over your people. Thank you for doing it, God. Thank you for just re releasing vengeance and protection. Whatever they need, you are almighty God. You are strong. You are faithful, Father God. You are Abba Father. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Rapha, Father God. You are Jehovah Jireh, Father God. You are the great I am. You are the everlasting God. You are the ancient of days. There's nothing, Father God, or no one, Father God, that is greater than you. Hallelujah. Your God is the big breasted one. Be encouraged for what God has done for you before, again and again and again and again and again. And God shall deliver you. And God shall strengthen you. And God shall encourage you. And God shall give you the courage and the grace and the wisdom and the strength and the peace and the fortitude and the focus and the finances that you need. God is faithful to do it for you. Come on. Be encouraged. Not sure who I put off the road for to release this. But God is with you. You will not fail. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's read a few chapters. In Jesus' name, we seal that prayer. Amen. Let's read a few chapters of Isaiah 47. All right, we're going to read Isaiah 47. Isaiah 48. We're just going to read a few chapters of Isaiah today for um, Bible study, guys. Hallelujah. And I hope everybody's day is going well. Hallelujah. Let's get into Isaiah 47. And God, I thank you for just adding the blessing over your word. Blessing us. Father God, you blessing me and you blessing the person on the other side of this camera, Father God. Thank you for touching their minds, their hearts, their situations. Thank you for touching their life. And when you touch God, you make all things new. And when you touch God, it's a touch that cannot be undone. It's just like a house. Someone come in and clean that house real good. It's undeniable. Thank you, God, for undeniable proofs. God is bringing that word back to me. He gave it to me last year. He's bringing it back again. Undeniable proofs. It's going to be undeniable how God is going to raise you up. It's going to be undeniable what God is going to do in your life. It's going to be undeniable what God is going to do with this season. It's going to yield in those seasons and those seasons are going to yield for you in your life. It's going to be undeniable just like in the book of Acts. Come on. It could not be denied. Come on, this next blessing, this next wave of glory, what God is getting ready to do in your life, what God is doing in your life, and what God will do in your life, it cannot be denied. Unde somebody say that. Undeniable proofs. Let's get into this, guys. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 47 is talking about the fall of Babylon. Go down, sit in the dust, virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, daughter of the Babylonians or the Chaldeans, right? No more will you be called tender or delicate. Take millstones and grind flour. Take off your veil. Lift up your skirts, bare your legs, and wade through the screens. Your nakedness will be exposed and your shame uncovered. 
I will take vengeance. I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord Almighty, is his name. It's the Holy One of Israel. And I want to release this over somebody. No weapon, not even one. Not even one weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time that rise up against you in the judgment is condemned because that is your heritage from the Lord, according to Isaiah 54, 17. Okay. Our Redeemer, the Lord Almighty, his name is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence, go into darkness daughter of the Babylonians no more will you be called queen of kingdoms I was angry with my people and desecrated my inheritance I feel a flow I'm trying to do Bible study and I feel a flow I don't know who this is for God is moving for you don't worry about what's in your bank account don't worry about what it looks like don't worry about what's going on God is moving for you God is with you the joy of the Lord is your strength God is releasing courage over you you're going to make it. You're not going to faint. You're not going to quit. But you're going to commit. This is not all that God has to do. God has more. Let him snicker. Let him laugh. I don't know who you are. But let him snicker. Let him laugh. You keep being and doing what God has called you to do. Because let me tell you something. God sees that your life is unto him for real, for real. Because the old you would have been doing something different and on another, on another wave. But see, God sees where you are. God sees your sacrifice. God hears your prayers. God sees your fasting. God sees your intercession. God sees your life. Your private and public life mesh. God sees that you are seeking him. And it will be richly rewarded. Come on. They laughed at Joseph. They put him in the pit. Joseph still had to endure and go through Potiphar's house. In the prison. In the pit. And all those things. But you know what? There was a palace for him. So your season may not be comfortable right now. Like we talked about on those birthing videos a lot last year and some earlier this year. Your trimester is going to look different from somebody else's trimester. Come on, your month may look different from somebody else's month. Come on, when, when you don't make it to the, to you, you, you miss the green light and it turned yellow and you got to stop it now. It's on red. It's okay because when it's your turn to go, it's your turn to go. Hallelujah. Be, faith, be found faithful what God called you to do because see, when God calls you to account and when you go before him, He's not going to ask you about what they did or what they said or why you didn't move because of this or that. No, he's going to ask you, what did you do with what I gave you? It's going to be personal. Your, your walk with him is personal. The Bible says that we are to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Every day to be renewed in our minds and transform. Amen. Let's just do Isaiah 47. I feel this flow. Let's just do Isaiah 47. We're going to close. But I pray that this word, and I'm going to get off soon. But I feel like this word was for someone. To God be the glory. Okay, let me turn this down. Okay, so let's go to 6. Isaiah 47, 6. I was angry with my people and desecrated my inheritance. Oh my God. God, thank you for moving in somebody's marriage. Thank you for moving in somebody's home. Thank you for providing food. Thank you for being a God of provision, God. Thank you, God, for even debts being removed. Thank you, God burdens that are weighing down on people financially or in the spiritual what they send certain family members or certain people on the job or just a day-to-day -day task in life god you are in control and i thank you god that they are being found faithful and you have a rich reward for the faithful father god because it said in the bible to the faithful you show yourself faithful to the pure you show yourself pure father god to the true father god you reveal yourself to them father god hallelujah Hallelujah. Okay, we can't finish the Bible study, guys. I'm not feeling led to finish the Bible study. Um, let's just stop on Isaiah 47, verse 1 through 6. I, feel, I just feel him saying close. I don't know, but prayerfully, whoever this video was for, you got something out of it. To God be the glory. Um, God bless you guys. I'm going to close with that. Have a beautiful, blessed night. And I'll see you guys in the next video.